Chicago. But Chicago, I'm not going to leave you all out today. I got to bring my own city to the front of the congregation. But y'all are way worse and way more egregious because over 100 people. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. When y'all first sent this to me, and then I started doing a little bit more research, the first thing that y'all sent to me was like, over 98 people died, or over 98 people, not died, over 98 people got shot in Chicago. And then I said, well, the weekend ain't even over yet. The weekend ain't even over yet. We don't even know how many people are going to be injured as a result of it. And I've been harping on it, and I've been talking about it, and I've been advocating about it. Shout out to Chase. Shout out to Chase. You know what's up. Anton don't be capping in his rap. I visited Detroit this past weekend and saw him walking amongst the people. I don't hide. I'm right here in the streets like everybody else. I kick it. I have on my Rolex. I have on this watch or I have on my other ones, one of my other ones. And I'm actually out here kicking it with the people. Anybody that mentioned my name, I go up, I walk up to them. What up, fam? What's the word? All of that stuff. I flick it up, take pictures. Y'all see me hit pictures with me and people on the Instagram and stuff like that. Shout out to Chase. Shout out to Chase. What up to my guy? But I, I was just amazed. I said, it can't be 100 people. No way that this is a real thing. So let's dig into it. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Let's get to it. You see, Peter, the CPD. We got to stop five out of the emergency room. A security alert was issued by the University of Chicago this morning after three men were shot on a sidewalk in front of the adult hospital's emergency room right after 5 a.m. According to UCPD, witnesses reported that the gunshots were fired from a dark-colored SUV that fled southbound on Cottage Grove away from the medical center. It is not clear whether any of the victims are affiliated with the university in any way. The shooting is one of several that happened overnight in the South Loop, Police are investigating the murder of a 26-year-old man who was shot and killed while walking down East 21st Street near Michigan Avenue just after 11 p.m. A 25-year-old woman was also injured but is expected to recover. Union officials confirmed the man was a CTA bus driver. Y'all killing bus drivers in Chicago? Y'all killing bus drivers in Chicago? Y'all just, y'all just... He's walking down the street after his shift, about to go home. Walking down the street, about to go home. Women, children, workers, regular people. And you know what's the worst thing about a lot of these tragedies that happen inside of our neighborhoods and our communities? One of the worst things that's, that, that happens about these tragedies is that most of the people that die are never the ones that's, that, that is the ops. They'll go and they'll be shooting and, and doing whatever it is that they want to do against all of the people. They'll go and spread up the whole block trying to kill one person. The one person to get away, bullets going through windows, little kids get shot and die, bus drivers wind up getting hit, all of that stuff, right? I don't know, Molly. I don't know what the life expectancy is in Chicago. It's got to, it, depending on what neighborhood you in, it's got to be low because everybody keeps telling me, oh, no, man, Chicago is the greatest city in the world. I see the TikToks. Chicago is the greatest city in the world. And I be thinking to myself, well, apparently you haven't been watching the Millionaire Morning Show because it's something else that I'm seeing on a regular basis. Now, I get it. Every place, 100, 100 people shot in the summer over the weekend is insane. Every place, every place has ghettos. Every place in America, I don't care what state you go to, I don't care what city you go to, I don't care if it's flashy, trashy, whatever, all of them, all of them have places that's not so great. But this is insane. This is insane to where you can't even walk past the hospital without ending up inside of the hospital. 
I was walking my dog at the dog park across from the Marriott by like 320 East 21st over there and I heard like at least 15 clear gunshots. Bullet casings were scattered up and down the street. The gunshots shattered the front door of a condo building and it was a terrifyingly close call for two women who were sitting in this parked vehicle Could about to pull away when they saw two men running up from behind them. One of them was wearing like a brown sweater and a ski mask. And when I seen them pull out the gun, I just pulled my window up and we dug basically. And I just seen them shooting. It has been an extremely violent holiday weekend with the number of people injured and or killed by gunfire already far exceeding last year's tally. They don't even have to worry about, they don't even have to worry about like population control. You know how we always have in conversations about abortion and stuff like that and population control and how many migrants is coming over here in order to replace y'all. Y'all killing yourselves off. Y'all killing yourselves off. Every day y'all kill your own selves off. It don't even matter. A hundred people shot over the weekend in Chicago is insane for any American city. That, it, that should never happen. And not only is that, we exacerbate the problem by having a 2,000 plus police officer shortage. How, who who want to go and work in Chicago? Listen, if you're a police officer, if you are a doctor or a surgeon, nobody want to be up all night. You know you're going to be pulling double shifts for the rest of your life. For as long as you exist in Chicago, I've never seen a nurse, a travel nurse say, yeah, man, I think my next destination is going to be Chicago. They don't do that. They don't do that. They're not trying to be in a hospital in Chicago because then they're going to have PTSD. Since Thursday, there have been three mass shootings in the city of Chicago, which on their own left 16 people injured and four dead. According to the mayor's office, all CPD officers had their days off canceled this weekend in order to help deal with the police response. They also said that on Tuesday they will open the emergency assistance center to help anyone who was impacted by this weekend's violence. They got to open up the emergency assistance center. This is what uh, the city leaders. OK, so remember, remember. Hold on, I'm gonna try to switch over to my other connection. I'm gonna try to switch over back to the other connection real quick. It may buffer a little bit, but give me a second, y'all. We good? We still good? Okay, so it looked like we still good. All right, all right, so we good. We're, we got our connection back regular and all of that. All right, so this is what the city, leader, city elected official said. Now remember, we are in a space Oh, that's my girlfriend right there. What up, Mugo? What up, Mugo? Hey, me, me and Mugo, I got a thing for I got a thing for Mugo. Cause they got Mugo out here working too hard. And I know Mugo want to advance her career, but I don't want Mugo out here in these Chicago city streets trying to chase stories and stuff like that. She got her hair did, nails did, everything did. She got her makeup on, she got her hair braided and all of that. Shout out to Mugo. Anyways, um, <laughs> listen, listen. City leaders have been failing the, the city of Chicago. The parents failed the city first, all right? So let's, let's not remove responsibility from the parents. Before we can hold the city leaders accountable, before we can hold Brandon Johnson accountable for lying to us that these are just large gatherings, the parents have failed the city of Chicago. Nope, it's not the system. It's not the system. We grew up without a lot of things, but it didn't mean that we resulted to going killing the ops. The parents failed the city before the, the leaders, but the leaders continue to lie to the people and tell everybody that it's okay. They want to remove shot spotter. They're not filling up the, the police ranks. They continue to fund the migrant crisis. And then they lie to you and tell you that it's just large gatherings. The, le the city leaders are the ones that's failing the city. Let's Let's get into it, man. At least 17 people were killed and 89 others hurt over the 4th of July holiday weekend in Chicago. And right Super now, Chad Chicago Shirley. Police Thank Superintendent you, Larry Snelling and Mayor Brandon Johnson are set to address the violence. CBS 2's Mugo Udigwe live at police headquarters where today's news conference will be held and we could learn more. Hold on. Uh, 
Spit Fact says, I'm surprised black people still stay in Chicago. It's not a few, obviously. No, I think that they should stay in Chicago. You do realize that these people are breeding the very ones that's killing them. The reason that they there is because they turned it that way. I don't want the people that's doing the worst things in Chicago to leave Chicago. I think that they all should stay centralized in Chicago. That would be crazy. You want them to come to your city? You want them to come? I understand white flight now. I, as an older 42-year-old man, I now understand white flight because when you put a group of people, and this obviously is not attached to all of the culture, right? But when you put a group of people that don't give a F about anybody, and this is, a, this is migrants too, them letting all of them Venezuelans in here, them, them guys from all of them gangs, they do the same thing. When you put a group of people in an area in a concentrated, if they all move up there for one particular thing, and you start to see certain signs, it's just like women. It's just like women. White flight back at certain time points in history is just like going into brunch in a certain area. If you walk into a restaurant and everybody in there is saying, hey, 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 it's time to go. Hey, check, please. You know what? Don't even give me the check. I got cash. I know that I'm about to overpay this bill. Just keep the rest for your tip. I'm out of here. I'm getting up out of there. I'm gone. It's certain restaurants, certain spaces, certain Coney Island, certain, certain gas stations that I just avoid all together. If, if I'm in a neighborhood and I start to see a certain element coming, I'll be like, hey, it's time to move. It's time to go. One of the reasons why people pay a lot of money for where they live is so that certain people can't, certain elements can't get into it. It's the truth. Miko, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. We know that news conference is set for nine this morning, and that is where we expect to hear from city leaders as Chicago police investigates dozens of shootings worry, across the city, tomorrow. including we'll cover this one. Take a listen. I got people running and screaming at um, 57th in Maryland area, close to the ER. Send any units from U of C right away. The dispatcher you just heard from is talking about yesterday morning's drive-by shooting near 57th and Cottage Grove. That is near the University of Chicago Hospital. We're talking steps away from the emergency room. Three men were hurt in that shooting. According to Chicago police, the shooter was in an SUV. In the end, a 29-year-old man and a 31-year-old man were shot. A police source tells us a 51-year-old security guard for the University of Chicago also suffered a graze wound to his nose. Hospital officials put out an alert adding that the victims were found on the sidewalk and so far no arrests in that shooting. But again, we expect to hear from city officials later this morning at nine addressing the violent, this right violence this holiday weekend, as well as talking about some resources for victims of violence. We'll be at that news conference and let you know what else comes out of it. For now, we're live outside CPD headquarters. Mago Digway. Magol Digway, shout out to Magol Digway that's down in the trenches over there in Chicago trying to make sure uh, that all of the news is reported so that we can keep you guys informed on what's going on out in these streets. Uh, ultimately, it's supposed to be a press conference because the Chicago city leaders, they need to have a block party with the, with the parents and hold them accountable on what they're going to do. But apparently, Chicago city leaders is going to gather to help us to understand what they're going to do co to combat the violence, considering that over 100 people were shot and like 20 people were killed in Chicago over one weekend, over one weekend. Don't worry about it. We're going to keep you informed. We're going to keep you all up to speed on what's going on out in these streets. Uh